ECIS is going to be a study, an in-depth study of serious injury crashes that happen in the state over a three year period. The objective is to really understand why those crashes have happened with really the idea that we would get that information to design effective prevention programs. Well the TAC is committing uh, $8 million to the study uh, which the Victorian Government uh, is fully supporting uh, because we see value in collecting the type of data uh, through the study which uh, we haven't had in the past to really understand uh, the true causes in detail of some of our serious injury collisions to understand the physics behind them, the science behind them, the human factors behind them and to then use that uh, in prevention measures. Last financial year the TAC paid out over one billion dollars in costs to people involved in crashes. This study is extremely important for road safety into the future. The information we gather over the next few years is going to better inform us so that we can make the right decisions about where we spend money to save lives, to prevent serious accidents and get people home safely. Monash University is renowned around the world as doing great research, coming up with great projects for the state and we certainly look forward to working with them and implement that evidence-based approach to improve road safety. The Enhanced Crash Investigation Study is a key part of the Victorian Government's 10-year road safety strategy. The strategy brings together all the key parties, the uh, Victoria Police, the TAC, Vic Roads, the Department of Justice, to work together with the goal of reducing death and injuries on our roads, with a goal of reducing road trauma by 30% by the year 2022. It's important to bear in mind that the average care cost for someone with a spinal cord injury is close to $8 million. For someone with severe head injury, it's around $6 million. So for someone who is young, who requires lifetime care, those costs can be upwards of $60, $70 million for the rest of their life. Emergency service personnel are at the front line of road safety. Every day across the state, police members are patrolling our roads, enforcing legislation to keep motorists safe. This study will help inform us which elements of driver behaviour police need to address to ensure maximum safety on the roads for everyone. A lot of our focus is targeting deaths on our road, but we must never ever accept the situation where we have 6,000 seriously injured Victorians on our roads. Of those close to 6,000 people now who are seriously injured, who are admitted to hospital. Around a thousand of those are in hospital for more than two weeks. So it's a very significant impact on them as individuals, but also it's a very significant impost on their family and also on the community more broadly. To be able to use this program to look at new ways to design new and effective road safety campaigns that are backed by science to make a difference. That's a wonderful opportunity that we've been given and it is really exciting. It's really about safer roads and ensuring that people get home safely.